I linked up Celine to Caroline Wairimu of Nairobi Garage, one of the fastest growing co-working spaces currently boasting all four branches in Nairobi. Caroline, who's the general manager of Nairobi Garage, boasts of a bachelor's in science in entrepreneurship studies. Hi Carol, very Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Celine, I'm the founder of Workify, mm -hmm. and I'm here to ask you some questions because I'm really interested in Nairobi Garage. Um, first of all, I am interested in how are you inspired to start Nairobi Garage? Uh, so we started Nairobi Garage back in 2014. Before 2014, we had a company called 88 Miles Per Hour. It came in to invest in tech-based startups. So we had selected some of the best um, startups then who are using, definitely using uh, digital transformation to come up with different uh, app software to resolve issues and they came up with very interesting business uh, models. So that uh, round ended in 2014, but then we still had a whole floor to ourselves. A number of startups who uh, now had a client or two, and their cash flow was um, good enough to start subscribing. So we, we decided we just can't let go of a floor. We have our startup, we still need to continue working. We had a floor to ourselves, we were happy with the services we were providing, ideally the floor was already furnished, it was serviced. Uh, there was internet, they didn't want to go back home, neither did they want to go to, to traditional offices. And we created a membership where they could subscribe to and that is how we came up with the co-working. So that is ideally what inspired us and we, we thought if we have a number of startups interested in this model, why not concentrate into this? So that led to us concentrating on the co-working model. The startups uh, started paying a subscription fee and they started referring us to other individuals. I find it interesting that people who rent a desk at a co-working concept or an office, they are not only interested in renting the desk or the office, but just because it's cost effective or time effective, but also because they really are interested in the community around it. And I think Nairobi Garage is a good example of building a community. Um, as you were just saying, it's built quite natural, I think. Mm -hmm. But were there any other things uh, that you uh, stimulate the community? Or uh, I would say Nairobi Garage is well known for providing value. So that is our key ingredient is making the co-working concept very successful. The office space would accommodate your needs, office solutions, mm -hmm. but then when you come in, we create value so that your business can scale faster than you would have done uh, it alone. Uh, how we do that is um, ensuring building platforms where members are able to network among themselves, and not only among themselves, but we also bring in industry players in the office to meet uh, startups and other companies so that then we see a lot of synergies uh, happening. We have, we've attracted fund managers. Uh, I would say an example is AIC, they, are, they fund health sectors and then we have a startup, they are called Zelfa Health. They build um, uh, systems and uh, softwares to ease the front end and the back end of health sector. So AIC invested in Zelfa. Health. Should Zelfa, if Zelfa Health was not in Nairobi Garage, then chances were uh, they wouldn't either have met AIC or their chances would have been limited. So our key key ingredient is value addition. So if members are able to network among themselves, uh, we call it a marketplace. You could get your next uh, supplier, your next partner, your next uh, investor within the space. You is also able to uh, network with like-minded individuals and see what they are applying in their businesses to make it successful. And would you say uh, all the events and the experts, the experts that you invite to help the startup skill, mm -hmm. is it all um, based on the tech industry or is it open for everyone? It is open for everyone and um, Basically because majority of these investors reach out to us and they are telling us we, we understand you've seen you have a pool of startups, then you're the best place. We can be, you, you must be the right people who can direct us to the right individuals. 
Um, so when they come to us and then we, we know which companies, we've already done our checking, we know what they are looking for. Uh, so we are able to connect them with those particular investors. And uh, did you ever say no to a client who was interested because it didn't suit Nairobi Garage or...? Uh, yes and a bit of no. Yes, because we, based on our business model, we are only able to attract um, companies who, if, if you're retailing a product, if you're using this as a stall, unfortunately, we are not able to host your company. However, we've managed to get uh, companies who are manufacturers and they trade in certain products, but then they only bring a section or rather a department of their companies with us. We've had the likes of LC Waikiki, so their head office used um, they, they, they used to be in our office. We've had the likes of Carlsberg, their head office was also in uh, Nairobi Garage. And then for their products, then we have uh, yeah, stores and yeah. warehouses elsewhere. So, however, if, if, you, if you're starting up and ideally everything, you do not have such a department where you can separate and say this department doesn't need to be in the stores or mm. warehouses then at that point we say no not now maybe in the future we'll see how we can accommodate them but if yes. you have products they are not possible for sure no yeah so you mentioned you had big uh, business people here for events mm -hmm. like the founder of Linton's Beauty mm -hmm. um, I can imagine at the start it wasn't that easy to approach people uh, like that. So mm -hmm. was it a challenge for you to host the events and find the right people? Or did you have a big network already and was it that uh, easy for you? When you were starting, I would say it was a bit of a challenge. But then I would say referral came into handy when members started using our space they were happy with the service provision and they were calling in other individuals who would like to work from our space and then the same members would tell us would like Strive Masiwa who we've hosted before to come and have a talk with us so the the beauty about attracting someone like Strive Masiwa or James Moria is that when we are inviting now anybody else they check our profile who has been here before, this is Trey Masiwa, uh, James Moria, um, Grant, the Trigger Foods founder, and they want to be in that particular space. Yes. Yes, they feel if you're able to attract this, uh, the kind of people you're attracting, then we are in the right place. It means you have the right startups who would like to listen to us, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we can build networks among us to your community too. And um, so at the moment you have almost four locations, right? The fourth yes. one is opening this month. Mm -hmm. um, I am interested in your plans for 2020. Mm -hmm. um, will you grow within Nairobi or maybe other city, cities in uh, Africa? Yeah, we. our plan was to open a space every two years, but then the demand was high and we need needed to we had to scale faster than two years so hence how we've seen our location in uh, Karen which mm -hmm. was our third location that opened up last year in Feb and then before that ended we opened up uh, Spring Valley the promenade so that is our fourth location and we are hoping before the end we feel Nairobi the market is still right it's yet yes. to be tapped Mm -hmm. uh, so we will be opening another location before the end of this year and hopefully two more and move to other counties and eventually we are looking at East, Af East Africa and Africa. Well, wow. yeah. Good. Thank you. Okay, well very interesting. Thank you very much Carol for meeting me today. Thank you so much. And um, I'm very interested in staying up to date about Nairobi Garage. Yeah, sure. Thank you too. Um, uh, it was very interesting to do this conversation with you. And as I said, uh, the market is yet to be, the market is still there in the yes. right. So every co-working coming up, uh, I feel the market is there.
important. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So I've learned a lot from Carol today. Uh, first of all, that Nairobi is booming and um, it has enough space for competitors. Um, I think it's very interesting to have co-working concepts in Nairobi, especially in different fields. Tech is of course a big industry here and I've learned from Carol that it will, will grow actually, so we don't have to worry and we can learn from each other instead of being competitors. Here are events to look out for. On February 28th, there's an after five event for creatives at Meta Nairobi from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. On February 29th, there's a digital skills training happening at the American Spaces from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On March 6th, there's a Women in Leadership Awards happening at the Intercontinental Hotel from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. hosted by Enaki Africa. If you like your event mentioned or the business coach to be a part of your event, feel free to reach us on our social media handles. Thank you so much for having watched the show. Hope you've learned a thing or two from the conversation I've had on the show. And if you're an entrepreneur out there and you'd like to be a part of the show, remember you can always reach unto us on the social media platforms which are running below the screen at KTN Home across all social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as at Ian Dennis Network. Remember each and every Wednesday to grab a copy of The Standard to read the Hustle magazine where I usually write the Business Coach column. And also check out the Business Coach website, that's businesscoach.ca.ke to learn more about business and entrepreneurship. I know you're always used to seeing me in suspenders and suits, but today I've actually changed a bit because my designer told me so. So all this particular shebang is the courtesy of Ashok Sani. My name is Ian Dennis and this has been The Business Coach where we help entrepreneurs better their businesses.